guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Come on, cooperate! What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? Question, answer! <coughs> Obstruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. To think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? should know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. I see. I need your hand to sign this, but... <laughs> I don't care if you end up losing a leg. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... You prosecutor sign Nijima? There's a call from your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Uh, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown. After all, we don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. <laughs> well done on making it this far, inmate. Now that you have traversed your long, perilous recollection, you truly have entered the present. The effects of that drug are gonna wear off soon. This is your golden opportunity. You must grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. The evil influence who wishes you dead is fast approaching. If you want to win this unreasonable game, if you wish to take back your stolen future, Recall the bonds you formed with your allies, and grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. <laughs> I see. 
So that's what led to your ending up here. What a disappointing end to the Hero of Justice. I still can't believe it. But I now have a general idea of the methods you used for your crimes. There's much more I'd like to ask, but my allotted time is nearly up. I do have a suggestion, though. Care to strike a deal? If you cooperate with me, I'll consider lightening your sentence. I have a responsibility to solve this case. I will win, even if it means brokering a deal with you. Your operation was leaked and you failed to change my heart. There's no point in being obstinate now. You've corrupted the order of this country and caused an uprising against its very existence. You'll most likely be given life imprisonment or the death penalty. Unless you accept my proposal. Going forward, I will read a list of people who are closest to you and this case. Tell me honestly whether or not the following are involved with the Phantom Thieves. First, the friend who you've been with since the day you transferred to Shujin, Ryuji Sakamoto. One of the victims of the Kamoshida case, An Takamaki. Ichiryusai Matarame's pupil, Yusuke Kitagawa. The daughter of Wakaba Ishiki, Futaba Sakura. The heiress to the Okumura Foods legacy and daughter of its CEO, Haru Okumura. And the frequently probing student council president of Shujin Academy, Makoto Nijima. Those are your accomplices in the Phantom Thieves case, are they not? So you won't sell out your friends. Then let me change the question. I find it hard to believe that high schoolers could have pulled off these crimes by themselves. Were there not others outside of your direct group who encouraged your crimes or lent their aid? Not to repeat myself, but remember that your life will be forfeit if your sentence is not lightened. You had the cooperation of people outside your group, did you not? Can you tell me about them? I see. So you won't speak a word about either your teammates or your collaborators. Do you even understand the position that you're in? Let's discuss one other person, Goro Akechi. There are reports that he was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves as well. Might he be a part of your team too? So Goro Akechi wasn't one of you. Very well. So be it. You clearly have no intention of bargaining with me. Even now, you're still acting as though you're a hero of justice. Your teammates have sacrificed you in order to escape, yet you wish to defend their honor? Why won't you talk about them? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You're the one who's made wrong choices. Justice? Then tell me, what is this justice you speak of? Saving others? What an awfully simple response. You continue to stand firm. Are you implying that we have no evidence on you? You're right, we have nothing. And it doesn't help that your story sounds like a fairy tale. But many people have fallen victim to this. We need to learn the truth. The truth, huh? I don't even know what's right anymore. And it's all due to your strange story. After all this, you're still? Are you listening? The side effects of the truth serum should be wearing off. I won't be deceived by such a poor act. Too, then. It was our conversation about pancakes, right? There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. Hey. Can you hear me? It seems your mind is clearing up. But unfortunately, my time has run out. Although I find your story to be quite interesting, I won't be able to speak with you any longer. Huh? What are you getting at? 
That's right. No matter the results of this case, I won't be receiving credit. I even had to call in a large favor just to conduct this interrogation. So, how did that thing we asked you to look into go? Nijima mentioned a special interrogation room, didn't she? Good. It looks like we can make this work if we lure them there. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Our time's up. We're done talking here. Goodbye. Land? Why are you saying such odd things? Anyhow, there's one last thing I want to ask you. There's something that's been bothering me for some time now. Recently, I was removed from my post as head of this investigation and was told to remain on standby. A short while later, I received word you were caught in the act within some bizarre phenomenon. But that was all I was told. You were told someone sold you out, correct? If that's true, who could it have been? Don't you have any idea? My suspicions were true in the end. All that's left is to figure out a way to hand it over. It's all up to you, leader. That'd be impossible. A cat giving someone a smartphone is completely unnatural. Giving him the phone without arousing suspicion will be easier said than done. We'll be counting on you to pull this one off. What's wrong? Might you have an idea as to who sold you out? What do you recall? If you know something, you must tell me. I won't allow things to end like this. You mean this? I've been told the lock on it is quite complicated, but it's only a matter of time until it's cracked. What's so important about this smartphone? Are you going to unlock it and show me the data? Let's let her sleep. She hasn't slept for days while she's been getting that app ready. Now we gotta figure out a way to show him the phone. That's right. I'm sure Makoto and the others told you about it. We need to show it to the true culprit. You know, the traitor. Hey! What are you trying to get at here? And what about this smartphone? The true culprit? He stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that run, my task will be simple. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. Please. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? Not a teammate? Oh, my God. You're referring to him, aren't you? <sighs> what are you plotting? I can't even begin to fathom it. But it appears my time is up. This is as far as our conversation can go. This will be my last involvement with this case. Very well. I've listened to your whole story, so I may as well play along to the end. And that honest look in your eyes. I used to view the world the same way too once. I'll place my bet on you. I just need to show him the phone, right? become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of judgment, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. 
Nacht. I'll be going now. What good will this do, though? A catchy gun? Why are you here? Why do you seem so surprised? I needed my director to step in to get access, and I was directly responsible for this case. How did you get approval? For the same reason you did. I am heading up the investigation team, after all. It's only natural I'd have the right to interrogate our culprit as well, don't you think? <gasps> they assigned you command? <laughs> that was a joke, of course. I'm merely here to assist with the public security interrogation. I am surprised it's this far underground, though. There aren't any others incarcerated here, yes? Nobody would ever know if things got a little violent. If I remember correctly, didn't you say there was another culprit besides the Phantom Thieves? That was but a lie I spread to set them up. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that I had deceived you too, sai son. After all, if you wish to trick your enemies, you must first trick your allies. So it was you. You're the one who sold out the Phantom Thieves. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? <gasps> My god. You're referring to him, aren't you? Is there a problem? Akechi-kun, does this phone look familiar to you? Hmm? Excuse me? <sighs> what is this phone? It belonged to the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I believe you'll need it for your investigation. Not personally. I was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves myself, remember? True. This is undoubtedly a great accomplishment. Good luck in there. Hm. Foolish woman. that you accompany me? Going in unarmed to interrogate a murderer makes me uncomfortable. Huh? What are you? I owe you for all of this. Thanks. That's right. You and your little friends were vital to our plan. And now it will be completed. Your popularity truly was quite stunning. That just made using you all the more worthwhile. <laughs> Have you finally pieced it all together? This is how your justice ends. Shido-san, my job is complete. 
I've told you not to call me by name. Regardless, all that's left is to deal with the remnants. The continued deaths of these teenagers would be a bit much, don't you think? I considered making it appear they had a falling out, but that would only amplify public frenzy. It would be best to have each of them meet with an unfortunate accident once the storm blows over. Is there any possibility they'll want to avenge their leader? No chance. They're nothing but cattle anyway. They have no backbone without his guidance. I will keep my eye on them just in case, though. I'll be counting on you. They will live their lives cowering in fear of death. An apt punishment for obstructing our work. Make sure to kill that strange cat once you find it as well. Understood. Though I doubt there's anything to worry about. It's merely a cat, after all. More importantly, they should be dealing with the suicide right about now. Things will become quite busy once the word gets out. I'll need to prepare my comments on the matter. I must be prepared to deal with it on my end as well. Beyond that, what of the director of the Special Investigations Unit? Perhaps he'll be struck by a mysterious illness sometime soon. phone the phantom thief alibaba who is this i am alibaba a member of the phantom thieves i inquire as to your justice sai nijima how do they know i have this goro akechi is evil he didn't come to interrogate the captured phantom thief he came to kill him we could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment how about that? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. <laughs> Don't trust the guard, either. He's an accomplice as well. Now then, I'll tell you detailed steps to take. You must save him. You want me to save him? What is it? Um, nothing. <laughs> anyway, what brings you here? I thought you were done with your business. Did anyone else stop by? <sighs> Nobody? Th th there'd be no reason for anyone else to come down here. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So it's all true. Of course it's true. Is something the matter? It's a Ketchikun. He had to take a sudden call, so he won't be able to make it down today. Huh? I've been asked to handle things instead. Y you But... You know, <gasps> if you stay here, they'll likely get rid of you to eliminate any evidence. I suggest you go into hiding at once if you value your life. Y yes ma'am! And don't say a word of what transpired here. Trust nobody. Forget this ever happened. And now we return to our continued report. This morning, the police have announced that they've detained a suspect who may in fact be the leader of the Phantom Thieves group. The suspect is reported to be a young man. Can I get you to look over here? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? So he got caught. That group sure was something. It, yeah. So the next shoot got me thinking. 
How about we have you do an idle thing, you know? That cool? What a surprise. To think that the one behind all this is just a minor. Considering how quickly they announced his arrest, the police must surely be confident in the outcome of this case. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be. Huh? Goodness, look at you now. It's been a while, Ryuji. Huh? Uh, yeah. You stopped visiting so abruptly, everyone was worried about you. Uh, it's your second year, right? Are you still doing track and field? I'd love to see you run again. Also, the young man continues to remain silent, refusing to implicate any potential accomplices. However, considering the number of charges brought against him... I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You seemed stumped for once. Not feeling it today? Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm not chiding you. Just do as normal at your own pace. With your skills, there's no need to worry about your future. Hmm. Normal. Right. He's just a high school student. How do you think he was contacting the others? The police here can search any online communications. His accomplices may slip up eventually. <laughs> Still, it seems the Phantom Thieves' most recent targets have gone comatose. Actual harm has been done here. Given the lack of physical violence, their method is still a mystery. <laughs> Regardless, the police are looking into attempted murder charges. You never turned it in? That's quite the surprise. I thought I lost it this whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, your grades are excellent. And your student council president. I'm sure you'll be admitted anywhere you apply. That one phantom thief should have followed your example. You hear? It seems he was caught. Some high schooler. I wonder why he turned to a life of crime. We also received information that the young man was placed on probation for assault. Because of his previous record, he had to leave his hometown. Perhaps his motive lies there. I believe your father can rest in peace now. That phantom thief could never have changed anything. Only a handful of people are qualified to alter the world. So you've been coming home late. That's what I've heard. I make a good playmate, you know. We have breaking news. The young man being held in custody has committed suicide. The police have confirmed his death, although details have not been released. To repeat, the suspect has committed suicide while in custody. This station will continue to report any further updates as they arrive. It may be difficult to uncover his methods now. Perhaps that's why he decided to take this course of action. It can't be. It would seem as though you have been killed. But why were you killed? Why did you have to die? Do you remember? It seems you forgot an important fact while your consciousness was hazy. Indeed, your death was a necessity for your escape from certain doom. <laughs> what a tremendous plan. How might you be capable of executing such a feat? Well then, let us rouse the memories which are missing. going you realized it too then
It was our conversation about pancakes, right? There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. Right. It was your social studies trip. We met him in the hallway of that TV station. There's no way that this is the first time he's heard my voice. This whole deal feels sketchy. Yeah. It's impossible not to think that of him. Okay. Let's get everyone on the same page right away. <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. One more person has been on our mind. If it's possible, I want to eavesdrop on their phone conversation. Hmm, that'll be tough. I agree. Hmm, I'd have to plant a bug directly on the phone. So it's impossible even for you. I didn't say it was impossible. I've got a plan. That's perfect. An incredible one. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait. <laughs> I see. So we're going to use this place. It'll be a gamble. I think it's gonna work. You can't tell a thing. It seems you finally remember. This game is not over yet. There are still things that must be done. until we reach our destination. Are you listening? Are you listening? Anyway. We need to talk about how to get out of this situation. Futaba's monitoring of Akechi's phone has confirmed it. He did indeed have an ulterior motive. It's on a completely different level than just that. Not only was he trying to frame us, but he was the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns. His offer to assist us was simply a ploy to frame the Phantom Thieves and kill him. 
If we go into Sis's palace as he suggests, we'll likely be met by a large ambush of police forces. To think he would be this far gone. I know now what it means to feel a chill down my spine. Furthermore, he wishes to bring a police squad from reality into the palace. If the eight of us can enter at once, it's not inconceivable to think a larger group is possible. He may even be able to bring in vehicles or other special pieces of equipment. So, this really was just a setup to shift the blame onto us. He made us go after Okumura. Then once we triggered the change of heart, he killed him. And he told us he had seen the true culprit, but it was him the entire time! The whole time he was working with Makoto's sister, he was really just some homicidal maniac. Come on, we gotta take that bastard to catch you down. Isn't that recording we got enough proof to do it? No. Akechi is merely a tool. His orders come from elsewhere. The grand mastermind behind this all. An unimaginable fiend capable of arranging the murder of a suspect inside of a police station. Unless we find out who that is, we will continue being targeted even if we defeat Akechi. But what means do we have of learning his identity? We'll have to make Akechi say it. Though once we do, that mastermind will likely eliminate us. I think that will be the case eventually, regardless of whether or not we learn his identity. The only reason it hasn't happened yet is because we're an easy target to blame for his crimes. If he realizes that's no longer possible and abandons that plan, he may opt to kill us immediately. Damn it! So we don't got a choice but to go with that bastard's suggestion. But if we go into the palace like we're told, he'll get arrested and then Akechi will kill him! Palace. The palace. Actually, there's something I'd like to say regarding... Aha! We can use the palace to our advantage! W what's this all of a sudden? There's a way. A way to get past Akechi and get the Mastermind to lay off of us, all while learning his identity! Really? You gotta be kidding me! If he wants to kill the guy, why not let him? That is, inside of a palace. Yes. We could have him kill the cognitive version, all the while believing he killed the real one. Yeah, that's it! It seems that's our only option. Listen close, everyone. I have a plan for how we can carry this operation out. Ever since the death of their teenage leader, the Phantom Thieves have fallen silent. However, the police intend on continuing this investigation until the case is fully solved. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few things at work. Where are they? Waiting upstairs. Go tell them to come on down. I'm gonna fetch him. You're... her sister, correct? Makoto told me everything. Futaba-chan, I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble this past summer. Eh, it's ancient history now. Man. That goddamn detective! Look who's here. Ah. <laughs> hey, you big bastard! How've you been? <laughs> you must be fine if you're joking around like that. It truly is a relief to see your face. I bet that moron Akechi don't even know we tricked him yet. Still, how'd you pull this off? Isn't this guy considered dead? You weren't told anything? I, I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. I didn't have time to explain. Hey, shouldn't we tell Boss what really happened? We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves was dead. What? What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. Enemy? Fake? What are you talking about? The true culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. True culprit? I see. 
So you guys were going up against someone else. It was Goro Akechi. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. He made one fatal mistake. Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That was a bold move. God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Uh, so what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. You mean a cat? Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, uh, sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Oh, our apologies. That's completely true. You surprised? Does that mean he said something just now as well? But you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first, too. When you're in the metaverse, Mona talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand him in reality. It's a change in cognition, most likely. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it way earlier. Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. That meant a catch you'd already been in the metaverse by then. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one, after all. That said, we weren't so naive to overlook something like that. That's why we asked Batabachan to wiretap his phone. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Utaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. That was just an act! After a few days of listening, this confirmed his betrayal. Then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. I'll deal with them after that. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Is this for real? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone. He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. That's why we had to make a move before they did. I see. We baited Akechi into Sis's palace making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think he killed him. 
Can you elaborate on that in more detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? We're sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. What conditions? First, we required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. That's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoto brought the suggestion to us. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. Yeah, it's good we have her heading up our operations. Makoto is normally so calm as well, but once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi, but I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. That goes for the both of us. We heard from Mako-chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima-san. And regarding its location, I take it you use the data from my laptop? I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. A perfect cognitive replica of him in the Metaverse's interrogation room. Since he had yet to be caught though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. They looked no different from actual living people. After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping a catchy in the dark. Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. However, it was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. Except that was all an act. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. And just as expected, he totally took the bait. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation room? All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Ah, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. All I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. Huh. So in other words, I've been to the Metaverse. Albeit for a brief moment. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. That's the other reason we had him give it to you. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid in his escape. 
By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. I mean, I have to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. Huh. Astounding. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. I'm so glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation. Even though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. <laughs> True. Why is that? Without Sis on our side, Futaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? Understandable. Either way, I can't believe you went for such a risky idea. If we could just tell you the true culprit's plan, I knew you'd realize the bigger picture. Realize that our leader was telling the truth, and that there was a greater evil to pursue. As a result, we emerged victorious. Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yes. Plus, you had lost control of yourself at the time. This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. But what did you do about the body? The police never even checked it. Huh? They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. <sighs> the bad guys have that much influence? Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. We also knew of a possible conspirator. Thanks to Futabachan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as Akechi planned. And with that confusion, he was able to escape with Mijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Thinking back to the interrogation, though, I can't believe what they did to him. The callous use of violence, and even drugs, is utterly abnormal. If he had lost consciousness, and hadn't been able to tell Sis about the phone, he would have died. I'm truly glad you made it back safe. <laughs> How tough are you? It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news, though. We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against... Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. Can it, Cat? I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who was meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Very well. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is pooped. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together to talk. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word, and I'll close shop early. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. Let us accept his offer. What a great man. 